Hi world, it's Chatty Dad One. Um, I just put up a video talking about the debacle of Obamacare and the insurance companies dropping people by the hundreds of thousands, canceling their individual policies. And I was thinking, where is the root of this medical problem? And uh, I don't think it's the insurance companies. We could do without the insurance companies. I don't think that it's the doctors. I know that there's now doctors that uh, work with patients and help them on patient payment basis. There's doctors who work for, you know, 70 bucks a visit, which is excellent. And, you know, you go pay cash. You don't have to have insurance. I think that the problem that we have with this whole thing is the pharmaceutical companies. They are the ones who we cannot touch. One reason is because of the, uh, what is it called, the, um, the, the act where, you know, they make certain medications, you know, Schedule 1, Schedule 2, Schedule 3, which they shouldn't even have a Schedule 1 because it's not able to be prescribed which uh, it's funny because marijuana is on the schedule one right up there with heroin you know and uh, it's uh, the substance um, controlled substance act that's what it is we need to get rid of that controlled substance act that gave them the power to control the pharmaceutical companies through the government. If we got rid of that, the pharmaceutical companies could dispense medication over the counter. And we wouldn't need to go to a doctor anymore. We'd read what's on the box, we'd talk to a pharmacist, and pharmacists can diagnose things almost as good as a doctor can. We could go to the doctors. They could tell us what we need to go buy. Now, for things like surgeries and stuff like that, well, we could work with the doctors there, too. You know, people have done it all over the place mortgage their homes so they could pay for surgery because they didn't have insurance. It happens all the time. But the pharmaceutical companies are the ones that really have us by the tenders. Because that's what doctors do mainly is write prescriptions. Then you have to go get it filled at the pharmacy. Pharmacies, I don't believe they're the main problem. Well, the main, the main problem is the freaking government. That's the main problem. But the one right underneath the government is the pharmaceutical companies. That's the other monster that they control. They don't control the doctors as much. The insurance companies, you know, they're just kind of like a middleman in there to make money and uh, wield power where they can. But it's these pharmaceutical companies that if they would just break loose from the government. Uh, what am I talking about? It's the government. It's just the government. 
plain and simple, it's the government. Pharmaceutical companies just fall under their umbrella, just like the doctors, just like everything else. But the doctors have wiggle room. The pharmaceutical companies don't. Under the hand of the FDA and the DEA and all those alphabet corporations, which is, it is all just a corporation, they can't do much of nothing. So we've just got to get control of our government people. We've got to do it. You know that. I know that. A lot of people are starting to realize that as well. Anyways, I'm just, you know, I'm just thinking, what can we do about this? What can we do about this? Kick the insurance companies out of the way? Well, then you're dealing with doctors. You're dealing with, uh, you know, possibly being able to trade things and goods for their services. You know, um, I go to the doctor and and get his help with something. In turn, I will go and, um, you know, paint a room in his house or install some new plumbing or, or something like that. You know, there's things that we can do if, if the federal government will let us. But that's really the main problem. I don't know. I'm just thinking of ways. What, what, what can we do? What can we do? We've got to, we've got to do something. We've got to take this thing back. We've got to take back control. Basic, bottom line. This cannot continue. This is Chatty Dad 1. Never give up your guns. Your rights go right along with them. The few that we have left will be gone. Prepare as much as you can. God bless and God help us all through these times. This is Chatty Dad 1, over and out.